I'm Terry Chi, and this is my story. From about the period between 1989 to about 2001, I had depression. But there were two very, very dark periods during that time that both times I felt that I wasn't really up to snuff with different things. Looking back, I feel that they were just idols that I somehow did not know that I was worshiping, but I was worshiping. But both times, praise the Lord, that he kind of lifted me out of the abyss. And during those times, the first time it was about grades, and second times was during the time when I was studying to be a clinical psychologist. And it was about how to have relationship and how to have healing relationship. But looking back on all those things, it made me feel that those things were the only one things that make, gave me value above and beyond anything else. And those were times I felt, wow, if I couldn't do those well, what could I do? And that's when I felt that I was coming to the end of my road. And that's when I started to really think unhealthy thoughts, very scary thoughts, and thoughts about ending my life. Now, looking back, I think this is um, one thing I've learned many things since becoming a Christian. One thing I've learned is that if you have a life in Christ, your road doesn't end. Even when you think your road should be ending and you need to leave the stage. And also, even if the road does continue, it doesn't have to be dark. There can be dark moments in our lives, and that's just part of life. And while you're walking through the dark darkness, God, Christ, is always with you. And I think when we are in those depths of depression, depth of the suicidality, um, we feel, or maybe the, the liar of all liars is telling us, you're by yourself. No one feels the way that you feel. You just go on and exit the stage right now. I want to let you guys know that no, Christ is always with you. And there are lots of fe fellow brothers and sisters who are going through the same thing at the same time. So if you feel that you're alone, know that you are not. And I realize sometimes feelings are tough. And for me, both of those times, God intervened, literally put, took his hand, literally grabbed me out. And for me, those two separate occasions gave me renewed hope to walk down, continue. And I am glad that I was pulled by, up, up by him, even though back then I really didn't know it was him who was pulling me up. Looking back, I also uh, feel that it is important to be authentic, especially with people who are suffering through the throes of depression. If you remember uh, Job, when he was going through his thing, he had a few friends. Some friends were just talking about, maybe you have hidden sins. However, other friends were sitting there quietly with him for the times that he was suffering. And I would uh, encourage you, if you have someone uh, who is dealing with some um, depression, of course, be there for him, be there for her, but don't really always feel that you need to do something. Sometimes it's important for us to just be there right next to them, to know someone is there. That person doesn't have to do anything, doesn't have to say anything. B know that they are there with us and they're willing to be there with us, however long, however hard it is. And I hope this story will give you hope that if you are in the darkness right now, know that first, Christ is with you, and second, you're never alone.